let's check this one out. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey. So looking at this here, that's a lovely accent. Definitely better yeah. silhouette. New Jersey. But I think you can still a couple of things. You can still push the acting in this section. That's a lovely accent you have. Because he's I'm not gonna look at the lip sync just yet. I'm still kind of focused on body mechanics and head accents so that his movements are more tied into what the audio is doing. That's a lovely accent you have. So when he goes, that's a lovely accent you have, it's you're kind of staying put in that lean, which is, I mean, the, the orientation is good, but when he goes, that's a lovely accent you have. That's a lovely accent you have. If you listen to, um, to the ups and downs of the audio, he can go, that's a, that's a lovely accent you have. You could have a good up and then you have a bit of a turn towards towards the character. So if you, the imagining characters, if you imagine your, the, uh, the, the tracking of his nose here. That's a lovely accent you have. He could start here, but end up with that nose tip here so that he advances throughout this whole section and then goes, you have, he has a little dip and then goes back up, right? So that's a, that's a lovely accent you have. A little bit of a move there. New Jersey. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey. I do like this here. You have. New Jersey. New Jersey. Like he's even more interested. So it will be New Jersey. But even here you have New Jersey. He just kind of goes up and maybe he has a slight hint. New Jersey. Of coming up there. Yeah. But you can do New Jersey. You can have a little, like a little anticipation almost of New Jersey, a little moment where he, you know, the wheels are turning. He's thinking about this. Lovely accent you have. And then looking at this, you're careful. You have this big arm move that seems totally disconnected where I see a little bit of movement in the shoulder here, but there's nothing going on in the chest. So if he's you know, too close to my table, but if I'm like this and I go and I kind of bring it down, you don't want to just have it mechanically Rotate down, rotate down like a New Jersey robot. It's a bit too simple. He is leaning on this at this point, right? So all the way, it's going to be through this section. New Jersey. But as you do this, is he going to? Is he pointing on this and then New Jersey? Is he going to lean even more? Is that going to give us a slight change in the body? The shoulder might go up there with a little bit of change in the head because of all that, all of this is gonna change. Maybe this elbow is gonna drop. So I would look at that mechanic and you can maybe shoot some more reference for this. New Jersey. Austria. And then I wouldn't bring that moving hold back. I will bring the moving hold forward. So he goes, New Jersey. And he's still interested. He's still looking at connecting and figuring out who, who she is, where she's coming from and everything. So to me, that interest is towards the character. He's still going towards her. Austria. And then on Austria, Austria, I would delay that by maybe five frames. You want to have the character hear Austria and then react to it. Right now, it's a bit too in sync. Austria. Austria goes right back a bit too early. Austria. But then it's good that he goes backwards. Austria. 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 But I think you're dipping here down a bit too soon. I would go up, hold a little bit longer, and then go down on Austria. So you have time for him to think where he goes back and either stares at her or back to blink, maybe a head tilt or back and just kind of darting, thinking, and then Austria, and then snapping out of that thought. Yeah. Austria. <laughs> now let's see, as you go back, same thing here, I see I don't see quite an effect of this hand here. Not that he has to put his hand down and push himself over so that, you know, this rotates and this pushes up, but I think you can still push it a bit more. Watch out, I'm just here, seems a bit, uh, a broken arm angle here. You can see how that forearm goes this way, where that wrist goes this way. So watch out with that, um, for the IK hand here especially through here when you have a lot of movement, but nothing's moving here. But that's detail stuff. So going back here, Austria. it's not too bad. You just have to look at, is he going back there Austria, to kind of lean on this and, and maybe push then more on this arm to give this 
a slight raise. I know we want to be straight here, but you can have a slight raise with the head and slightly tilt it back for balance, which might give him still a bit of an, like an interest by having that head tilt a little bit more. Just right now, it feels like that move, especially towards the end, is a bit disconnected from the rest. <laughs> now, here it comes back pretty big here. And back In fact, I mean, such a big move, and I do see the shoulder going up, but it doesn't really connect with the rest of the body through here and even through here as he leans the the back just kind of stops this arm comes down and this arm goes down this way there's a slight adjustment in the chest through here which is good but it doesn't quite feel yet how he comes back puts his arm back and then kind of sinks into this you want right now it feels a bit too clean where he goes zoop zoop and then that's it versus i'm like this and i go back Ah, uh, yeah, and then you can maybe, like, imagine that he would slide his butt forward a bit, and then that arm gets kind of, it's hooked up into that chair, and then he would be a bit more grounded in that chair. And through all of this, this is a bit too loose here, the head. It's a bit too simple how he goes back here, and then he just kind of goes, but the head kind of follows the chest, there's a slight separation, which is good with some accents. Day, mate. But it just all seems too simple, and especially through here. As you do this, you can see that rotation comes out of the upper part of the neck. There's nothing engaged in the lower one or nothing in here. <laughs> well, so he might go, <laughs> well then, you know the moment of, ha, well then. And then he can say his last line of, good day, mate. Like a little bit of a, put a head tilt, just a bit more, a bit more involved, a bit more attitude so that, so that you have a bit more contrast at the end as well. It feels a bit too subdued and timid. Well, then. <laughs> day, mate. And then careful here, you see some sliding there. So you want that, if that arm is there, really connect and stay put, like it's resting on that, on that back side of the chair. So there wouldn't be that much sliding. Day, mate. Alrighty, I would focus on that first and then next time, I'm going to take a look at the lip sync and the mouth. There's a lot of, you know, open shapes that kind of stay put where there's not a lot of contrast and kind of not enough connection to the audio. But for now, I would still kind of focus on that body part first so you can really nail the mechanics, the weight shifts and get that settled there. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.